Hi, welcome back. In the previous video, we deployed our cloud function which got invoked via HTTP trigger. As discussed, cloud functions is a serverless solution, meaning you as a developer don't need to worry about the servers. But indeed, they are running somewhere on some servers. It's just that we are not managing them. So that means Google is provisioning your function somewhere so it can be invoked on the trigger. But since you are charged only for the execution time, Google won't keep the instance of your function around if it's idle for a long time. In such cases, when any subsequent request comes in, your function will experience what is generally called as cold start and your response times will be higher than usual. So why do our functions experience cold starts? The reason our functions experience cold start is because Google will have to set up the dependencies and initialization logic of your function before it can start serving the requests. Hence, initial requests take an unusually long time than the following requests. So when do cold start happens? Cold start always happens just after your function has been deployed. Any request just after the deployment will experience the cold start as this first request is going to cause Google to initialize an instance of our function. Another reason to experience cold start even when your function has served requests is that your function might have been recycled by Google due to long period of inactivity. So Google recycle your functions if they haven't been invoked for a long time and any following request will experience same cold start time as after any fresh deployment. Last but not least, our function will always experience cold start when our function is scaling out due to increased load. Any new instance added to handle the additional load will experience same cold start as fresh deployment. In essence, we cannot eliminate cold start problem, but we can reduce its impact. Let's see how. As I discussed in the previous video as well, we should keep the dependencies of our functions to minimum. More dependencies means more packages to download at the start, ergo high boot times. A good way to ensure minimum dependencies is by making sure your functions are following single responsibility principles. If your function is not trying to do a lot of things, chances are they won't be needing a lot of dependencies. Another way is to use more popular versions of dependencies so that there is a high chance that those packages are in Google Cloud Functions cache. And last, you should try to lazy load the global variables. If your program has some global variables or global initialization code, that will run before your function starts serving the request. So you should try to lazy load any such global variable to ensure low boot times. Also, if there are some variables which are getting used in only some code paths, you should initialize them in that code branch only. So, in this video, we learned how to decrease the cold start times for cloud functions because when it comes to performance, every millisecond counts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.